What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and I'm filming this video on my birthday. So this is a treat for you because I want to make sure, as always, you have everything you need to succeed. So with this video here, we have ourselves an area word problem, and if you notice, it says that there's a triangle in there. For some reason, triangle area word problems freak a lot of people out. So I want to make sure I point out exactly what to do right after you're done watching this video so you can continue getting the practice and the help that you need to be that confident, as confident as you can possibly be and pass at the end of the day. So if you look right behind me, that's going to change. Boom. This is the website. For those of you that are in the program, remember that this is your one-stop shop for everything. Right behind me, you're going to have access to practicing everything you need for area and perimeter, not just triangles, but we have squares, rectangles, um, rectangle area and squares um, going from perimeter to area. And then we have final exams and everything you need to make sure that you're ready to go. But I want to point out the triangle word problems here because this speed drill is so awesome because you're going to get two minutes per question and you're going to be able to test yourself with brand new questions every single time you reset this. So just like the problem we're doing right now, you'll be able to practice just like that. And you'll see that once you're done trying these problems, you're going to have step-by-step -step solutions to every single problem. Look at this. Boom. Oh no, I failed. But remember, it's not about passing or failing. It's about learning from your mistakes. So that's why you're going to click right here where it says feedback report. Click that and look at how awesome this is. Not only do you get to see what the correct answer was, but you're also going to be able to look at the feedback in terms of, Hey, you know how I always do things. What do you want? What do you have? What is the connection? And we'll set these problems up and we'll solve them right there with you all the way through for every single one automatically. There are over 15,000 practice questions now on my website and all of them that are in these speed drills have these step-by-step -step solutions or videos attached to them. So again, if you're in the program, you're going to access your arithmetic reasoning course after this video and you're going to get to work to make sure that you raise your score the right way. And if you don't have the program, well, why not? It's the most affordable program out there. It's helped thousands of students succeed. And it's the very minimal investment of your time and money to get that huge bonus and financial stability in your military career. Take control. Go ahead and click the link in the description of this video to learn more. But without further ado, let's go and crush this one as a nice little sample. So first things first, as always, read the question. Not the if, not the a triangular picture, none of that. No, 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 no. You're starting with the question statement. Who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following, all of that is where you want to go. So right here, how long is it at its base? That's your first concern. So what I want, notice that it says the length of the base. So we want the length of the base. So the thing is, when you read the question, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't in terms of giving you exactly what you need to do. You know what you're looking for, the length of base that you're trying to find, but do we know what math is being involved here? Is it given to us? And here in this question, there's a lot more of a hint that you may realize. The hint here is that you're looking for the length of a base. So we're talking about some sort of shape. So whenever, anytime, in any word problem, you get a hint that you're dealing with a shape, you always want to identify what shape it is. If you fail to identify what shape you're dealing with, then what's going to happen is you're going to use the wrong formula and then you're going to be confused and stressed out. So always ask yourself, whenever you're dealing with anything about a length, a width, a perimeter, an area, a volume, always ask yourself what shape, because when you know the shape, you know the formula. So we want the length of the base. And when you, you know, when you start reading the problem, clearly you'll see it says a triangular picture frame. So let's go ahead and highlight that right there. We have a triangular picture frame and I can go ahead and just draw myself a triangle nice and easily there. And then it says it covers 24.5 square feet or square inches, excuse me, on its surface. So 24.5 square inches on its surface. What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, there's a key word here that actually just gives it away. And this is what you need to know as well. If you see 
square units. Let me go ahead and zoom in right here. When you see square units, so in this case, square inches or square miles, square feet, square yards, square centimeters, square meters, square kilometers, all of those are area. When you square a unit, area is two dimensional. Square is two dimensions. Volume, cubic units, that's three dimensional. Cubic, one, two, three dimensions. Three dimensional means volume. Here, that's area. So we, are, we need to be able to realize that that right there was a huge hint that the area of the triangle is 24.5 square inches. We need to be able to be comfortable in recognizing these ideas because now we see that we're given as well over here that it's seven inches in height. So because of that, we want the length of the base. We know the height equals seven inches. Now we have all the information we need to solve this. How do I know? Well, you look at your information and you have to ask yourself, how are these all connected? If I want the base of a triangle, I have the height of the triangle, and I have the area of the triangle, there's a formula for that. The formula is going to be right over here. Area equals the base times the height all divided by two. That right there, boom, that's what we have. And so boom, we have our base here. There's our height coming from the top down, just like that. There's our height. And then we will just plug these numbers into the formula, solve, and we're done. That's it. So let's get it done. Let's not waste time. The area that we're given again was 24.5. So plug that right in. Then we see that we're looking for the base. So we'll leave that as B, but we have that height being seven inches. So we plug that into the right spot and then we cut that all by two. So if you wanna rearrange this, B times seven is the same as seven B. We should be able to know that one times two is the same as two times one. And so to solve this, we'll just need to get rid of the seven and the two. The way that we'll do that is gonna be by multiplying by two on both sides to begin, because it's gonna cancel out the two on the right side. We're left with seven B on the right side and on the left, two times 24.5, that's gonna be 49. We gotta know our quick mental math calculation, right? And so then lastly, we'll divide both sides by seven and bam, B equals seven inches. That is the length of the base. Answer choice D is the answer and we're done. And so like I said before, move forward now, open your account on my website, duranlearning.com or click the link in the description of this video to continue practicing with the full program inside of your arithmetic reasoning course. There are over 10,000 word problems in there with step-by-step -step solutions and videos to make sure that you don't memorize this question, but instead truly understand any type of area and perimeter problem you'll see. So do yourself that favor and do me a favor by making sure that you like this video and comment if it helped you out. I always wanna make sure to reach more people just like you, and you know that these videos are free, so please do me that favor and yourself by commenting what you liked about the video and then moving forward to the website to continue practicing. I got your back all day, my party people. I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you in the next video. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.